What's up guys, my name is Section from the Deviants and today we're going to be reacting to Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1 Episode 16. In the last episode was the beginning of the group battle between the people from Tokyo and the people from Kyoto High of uh, Jujutsu High. Uh, I was doing so well. Anyways, it started off. Toto, of course, went headfirst into the group of Tokyo, and Itadori went up against him while everybody else escaped so that they can track down uh, the, I think it's the second grade. But while they were searching for the second grade, they realized that no one from Kyoto is either following them or is searching as well. Like, they haven't ran into any of them. So they all came to the conclusion that they are going after Itadori to try to kill him because he is Tsukuna's vessel. Turns out they were right. They did try to gang up on Itadori, but Toto, because before that, asked the question to Itadori, like, what kind of women you like, and it was the right answer, Toto became best friends with Itadori, therefore he was defending Itadori against the other people of Kyoto. So since the people of Kyoto left, uh, they ran to the people of Tokyo, and now they're all fighting each other. So without further ado, let's get straight on into it. Make sure the original content, as always. Alright, let's get going in 3, 2, 1, and go. Ooh, painting? The hands will never surpass the eyes. Those with good eyes will improve far more rapidly than those without. Okay. When I throw my right horizontal punch, he immediately sends a left vertical jab. Oh, he's reading him like a book. What a beautiful way to know. <laughs> he's so impressed. Face is wide open. I can hit it! No, I don't think you can. He is not keeping up. He is not raising. That's not exactly what I want you to devour right now. What? It's a tricky move. Your average sorcerer wouldn't know what happened and they'd be left disoriented. But it won't work against special grades. O okay. What you do, best friend. Best friend. <laughs> I'll use my full strength. And imbue it with cursed energy. Good. If that's so, why is your cursed energy lagging? I know. He's why. still getting used to it. It's because you're channeling it. Huh? When we channel cursed energy, it is a technique that most sorcerers are conscious of doing. The theory is that cursed energy extracted from such negative emotions starts in the navel and is channeled throughout the body. Okay. But Interesting. This view of the body as individual parts is what delays cursed energy. Mm -hmm. The idea of channeling cursed energy isn't wrong, but that's only the first step. Now listen to me, Itadori. Huh? What, what a teacher. Listening to nature? We exist in this world with our entire mind, body, and soul as a whole. It's such a given that no one even thinks about it. You know what? Toto's a very intellectual person. Good, good on him. I think now. I understand. <laughs> Good. Then no more words are needed. I won't hold back. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll guide you with my full strength. Ah, uh, this is fantastic. Rise up to greater heights. It's, oh, uh, the friendship is fantastic. I really hope Toto is like a mainstay throughout this whole series and not just the thing kind of like in Hero, My Hero Academia where they show them and then they're gone for like 50 episodes and they only come back like here and there. I would say this opening, okay, this opening definitely isn't as good as the first one, but I think the first one is just a lot more catchier than this one. Like this one's great in and of itself. It's just not as catchy as the first one. Hey, you. Your old fart principal told you to kill Itadori, <laughs> didn't he? This girl has good intuition. No, Panda probably figured that out. <laughs> There's the group effort. I'm out to kill someone too. That watered-down version of Maki named Mai. Huh? Why isn't this making her mad? Instead, I'm the one getting pissed off. It's all psych psychological warfare. <gasps> oh, 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 Panda? This man just almost got executed. It's a cursed corpse, so it won't die. It... Wait, what? Panda's a cursed corpse? Kind of like those stuffed animals of the principal? Just kidding! 
Way to bring your opponent closer. Let's just try to get along, all right? Since you and I are so similar. You idiot puppet. Oh, um. You don't know anything. Sword option. What kind of metal is this? That that's a very deadly attack. What? Why are you trying to take out these guys? He missed. You're very strong. What grade are you? This is my estimate of everyone standing. Okay, it's somewhere between second and third. Semi first grade. Semi. Why is he still in in school? I get it. He may, I actually, I don't know. Is he that young? This output is pointless unless I hit its core dead on. Man-made curse so then, corpses always have a core, which serves as their heart. Who, who made Panda then? I, Yaga, Masamichi, am the leading expert on- Question was answered. And Panda is my ultimate masterpiece. Yo, Principal be looking thick. What? Panda is not a panda. He is... Ooh. Okay. We got Poe. You're a sorcerer who's remote controlling this thing while your real body is elsewhere. Yes. So why get offended at being treated like a cursed corpse? That is so hurtful! <laughs> so I guess I'll just bust you up. You won't be doing either of those. Hmm. I'm kind of rooting for Panda. I was born without a right arm and with nothing at all below my knees. And I have okay. no sensation from the waist down. But in exchange, I've been granted immense cursed energy production and the ability to use cursed techniques over vast distances. So if I could trade my cursed techniques to have a normal body, I'd gladly do so. And so, when I see a cursed corpse like you walking around in broad daylight without a care in the world, instead of me, I cannot stand it! I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. Move, Albatross! That's an incredible amount of cursed energy. Yeah. And given his position, Novar is in his line of fire. Oh, so, yeah, Panda it. has to block it. Panda should be all right. I hope. You is he in his big muscle form? Complaining about your misfortune earlier. Quite the sorcerer thing to do. Oh, gosh. What the heck is that? What form is that? That's what I said. Panda. Is not a panda. He is a. This is the second. This is the second time you said that sentence with no answer. Hello. Better get it answered in this next couple seconds. Okay, we'll go through a backstory first, but then I need the answer. You should know you have an older brother and sister. No, I don't. Yes, but they are inside of you. It's hard to explain. Inside of me? You know what? Take your answers back. I, I don't need them. And in the meantime, those two will always be there to lend you strength. It's gracious. Normally, a cursed corpse has a single core for its heart. But there are three cores inside of me. Okay. And by switching out which one is the main core, I can convert my Interesting. Body. It's like Deoxys. There's the Panda Core, focused on balance. My older brother, Gorilla Core, focused on power for short, decisive battle. And my bashful older sister. His first attack got what my was older the... sister's core. And oh, that last okay. one exhausted the Panda Core. My right arm sword option is no longer functioning. Yeah. I can't fire ultimate cannon anymore either. Gorilla mode You've almost wasted all of like your gorilla, resources. But I need to hurry. At close range, I have the advantage. I, I wouldn't really suggest this is close range. I say medium. Not now it's close. Listen, robot dude, I would escape as quick as possible. Yep, he's running away. He has something in his hand. Is that a piece of tile? He's gonna throw it? A tile? I I don't know how I figured that out, but 
Gosh dang it. This time I won't miss. His cursed energy is densest at his core. Uh burrow right underneath here. the roof. No. Uh, what? Don't treat me like other cursed corpses. I know how to bluff the position of my core with cursed energy manipulation. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, open palm. So you're gonna build a whole new robot. You have your own hardships too, Mikamaru. But just having more hardships doesn't make you right. <laughs> but if you want to do something else with your life, I'd help you. One day. What, what, are you, what are you doing? Don't go to the light. You said your skin is very sensitive. Oh, okay. I'll be together with everyone. I wonder if you'll still say you'll help me after you see what I look like. You think someone who looks like me is going to fuss over what you look like? I'm a panda. What a crazy revelation. Shut up, damn puppet. So, based off Panda's standings, uh, she's the lowest. Is it just because she doesn't have, like, the, the cursed techniques? Or just cursed energy in general? Mekamaru, I need you to let Noritoshi know Utahime's calling him. Uh, Mekamaru, please take this book to Toto, okay? Uh, what is he, the servant? Mekamaru, perfect timing. What do I look like, your messenger boy? Uh, Mekamaru? Hmm? We're all counting on you. Yeah! Oh, run. oh gosh. I wonder if anybody else knows it's of his condition. Can rely on me, I guess. Like, I wouldn't doubt that they've probably wondered why there is a robot in the Jujutsu High School. But I, I, I don't know if Makamaru has actually, like, gone out and explained, like, what his condition is. So, I like this episode because it gave us a lot of, like, information about certain things while also entertaining us with the fights for example toto is like the perfect teacher for itadori just because of how similar the fighting styles are and where i would love to believe that gojo is probably the best teacher in existence because of how good he is at everything i do feel as though having a specialist in a certain like move set or whatever like kind of like toto helps itadori all the more better and i believe uh, now don't quote me if i'm wrong i believe toto was was explaining to itadori like why is it his divergent fist is delaying so much like the cursed energy why is it delaying and it's because itadori focuses on the channeling the cursed energy from inside to his fists and that like thinking about it is what's causing the delay so instead toto tells him like hey like try not to think about the flow of curse energy and instead focus on the body mind soul of the curse energy like think about nature you know just feel everything all at once and then use your gut to lead you with the curse energy i know i'm horrible at explaining it it works in my mind but anyways they're still fighting the the episode didn't really focus too much on them it, I, I'm guessing the next couple episodes it's going to be like little bits and pieces of their fight mixed in with the other people's fights which then leads us here so now Nobara is going to fight against this witch I don't know who's gonna win out in this I I like to believe the witches but it's just because Nobara is kind of inexperienced in a way but who knows maybe this witch girl has the same downfall as uh Mekimaru, I think that's what his name is, in which he doesn't, he doesn't overestimate. They they basically underestimate each of the fighters in in Tokyo. So maybe that will be her downfall. But anyways, we're focusing on this guy and Panda. And because of their face off, we got to know a little bit more about each of them. For instance, uh, this guy is being controlled by a guy that's in 
a bathtub, I guess you could say. And he's housed in like right off of the arena. And he's able to use his cursed energy and cursed techniques through far distances. So he so he can have this robot use his cursed energy and technique while also controlling the robot to do what he wants. And he has to do that because he said he was born without a right arm. He was born without feeling below his waist. Uh, he had very fragile skin that gets cracked and burned in moonlight. If he was given the choice to like relinquish all of his curse energy and curse techniques, and by doing so, he would be able to get a full body. He would do that in a heartbeat. So that's why he is so against puppets or cursed puppets, whatever you want to call them, because he sees them walking about and he can't do it. Now, Panda is a cursed corpse. Now, I don't know why we just never thought about it. Maybe it's because how realistic he looks as like an actual animal that the the idea of him being a cursed corpse just never ran like through my mind. So basically, the mech dude hates cursed corpses and Panda is a cursed corpse, which ah leads the mech guy to go like all out on him. And Panda being the Poe character he is not only is like beating the mech to a pulp, He's also like getting into the mech's mind, like getting to his feels. So it gets to a point of where this mech guy is using his ultimate blast. Like he uses solar beam and he's aiming it at Nobara. Therefore, Panda has to block it to save Nobara. And he does block it. Uh, and then the mech guy thinks that he completely destroyed Panda, but Panda changed forms. And we get another revelation in which Panda is not the only, uh, spirit only core he has there's his core there's his brother's core who is a gorilla and then there's his older sister's core which we don't know about because the met guy shot her first therefore she didn't come out we can kind of suggest that maybe she could be either a like ranged person focusing on curse technique or a very speedy nimble individual i i wouldn't know what exactly what animal she would be i mean the first thing that comes to mind is a bear but i also like to believe that the animal that she is would be focused on walking on two legs because both the panda and gorilla are focused on walking two legs i mean i guess a bear could too but they fight a little bit more and the mech dude ends up losing because i think he went all out a little bit too quick maybe due to the hatred he has towards cursed corpses and Panda was able to trick him in, or tricked him to getting close. Therefore, Panda just like ripped his arm off and what's done is done. And Panda, knowing that the mech dude cannot move, he, he basically like tries to sympathize with the guy saying like, hey, I thought we were similar because we we're kind of like the one man out when it comes to our individual groups. And then, hey, maybe later if when we're not all fighting, uh, I would love to try to help you go out and experience your life. But anyways, that was my reaction to Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1, Episode 16. If you like my reaction, make sure to like and subscribe. If you guys want me to know anything more, put a comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.